This is the boys, 15, 16, 400 IM. And lane number one at the bottom of your screen is Adam Pinson, unattached, also unattached in two, Kevin McLaughlin. In lane three, Anthony Davidis, Conejo, Simi. In lane four, your leader from this morning, Ben LaRue to Reno Aquatics. In lanes five, six, and seven, all unattached, Kyle Castro in five, Roland Lee in six, Connor Benston in seven. And from Alligators in lane number eight at the top of your screen there is Emil Surratt. Out in front, halfway through this butterfly leg in lane five is Castro with a 25-43. Very interested to see how this heat plays out. Ben LaRue was your leader from this morning with a 4-17-77. But we saw Castro put together a great 200 freestyle yesterday. He was a 141-2 in that 200 free, so we know he's going to have a great back half. And he's already securing the lead after the first leg of this 4 I am touching the wall in a 54-34. That's Castro out front in five in a very tight race for second between three, four, and seven. Davidis, LaRue, and, and six, excuse me, Lee. Already gaining about another body length. Kyle Castro in lane number five. He's halfway through this backstroke leg. He's either taking it out quick, so we'll see what's happening on this brushstroke soon to come. Now in second place in lane number four, that's your preliminary leader, Ben LaRude. The current record here in this 400 IM for Far Westerns is a 356.76. At the halfway mark, Kyle Castro out front, 156-29 after the backstroke leg. Still in second is Ben LaRue in lane four. And a very, very close race for third between the remainder of the field to get his hand on the wall first was lane number six, Roland Lee. But right with him in lanes two and three, that's McLaughlin and Davidas. And also up there at the top of your screen in seven and eight, Bankston and Surratt. In the water, that's Kyle Castro in lane five. Ben, ben LaRue LaRue looking very comfortable here in his breaststroke. It looks like he's gained some yardage back on Kyle Castro in five, but Kyle still with a pretty substantial lane lead five, here, Castro almost at the three quarters mark through the breaststroke leg. Up there in lane number six coming on strong. That's Roland Lee turning on the breaststroke, possibly seeing a change in the second place position. We know Castro is going to put together a good freestyle leg here as he did yesterday in that two free. He's going to have about a body length plus lead heading into the final four laps, but a very tight race for second between lanes four and six. That's LaRue and Roland Lee. 310-40 for Castro. 312-74 for LaRue. Less than two seconds separating these boys. LaRue looking to approach Castro's feet. Three laps to go here in this 4 a.m. Right there at the bottom of your screen, another great race going on for fourth place at the moment. In lanes two and three, that's McLaughlin and Davidis, neck and neck heading into the final 50. Castro still looking smooth out front, just over a body length lead of LaRue in lane number four. Davidis really looking strong here in the final 50. He might be moving into the third place position. However, your champion here in the boys, 15, 16, 400 IM, by about a body length lead is going to be lane number five, Kyle Castro, with a 407-80. In second, Ben LaRue, 409-10. And touching for third up there in lane number six, the 411-82, is Roland Lee. Great swim right there for Castro and LaRue. LaRue definitely making some ground there on that freestyle leg, but Castro just a little too far out in front. He was able to catch his feet, but needed a few more yards to go. 